Welcome back to God's 411. I am Kim and this is Jim. And we have a great message for you today. Yes, we do. This is something that has been really close to our hearts. I mean, we've really got an urgency to get this message out. And what we're going to talk about today is the six things that Satan wants more than ever in your life right now. Yeah. So number one, yeah. Satan wants you to doubt God's word. And, and, and I have seen this over the past year and a half more than ever. Before COVID hit, we really relied on God's promises. We trust God's promises. I mean, we read the Bible and we believed it. And then it's almost like when COVID hit, we started to doubt that God was here for us and they loved us and that he has a plan for us. And I think Satan is operating on a whole new level. Yeah. He's using what's happening in the world to affect our relationship with Jesus and others. And yeah. it's just, I don't see it getting better. So we have to try very hard to put our emotions aside, rely on God's promises, know that these promises that God gave us was from the beginning of time and he doesn't change. Don't change. And when Satan, you know, makes you doubt those things, mm -hmm. you know, is that verse that says resist resist the devil and he yeah. will flee from you. I think that's James, James 4, 7, seven right? Yeah. Resist the devil. Say the devil, I know that's not true. I know that this is my God and my God is telling me this and these are his promises to me and I'm gonna bank my life on it. Yep. Okay, so number two what Satan, what we've kind of been talking about is Satan wants to paralyze us with our fear. And I have a great verse for this. This is 1 John 14, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Yeah. For fear has to do with punishment and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. I love that because it just says, if you have God, you don't have to fear mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. You have Him. We just did a great video about this also, about God's perfect love for yeah. us. And we will include the link in right above Kim's head. It's a great video. In your life, if you can grasp that God loves you, I mean, He just loves you. There are bad things that are going to happen that are yeah. out of our control because yeah. unfortunately Satan is the ruler of this earth. Yeah. Just put everything in and just put every fiber of your being yeah. into saying God loves me. It's going to work out for the good. Yeah. No matter how ugly it gets, God loves you. Mm -hmm. He loves you. All right. So number three, Satan wants to paralyze you from sharing the gospel. I know a lot of people say, you know, I don't have a, a seminary degree, yeah, I'm not yeah. theologically right, yeah. I don't know the Bible very well, but you know what? We have found that you just sharing your story with what Jesus has done in your life speaks more volumes Nouns. than trying to teach someone. There's something about a person that says, you know, I had a really hard time in my life. I was really struggling with this and I was at my I was at my end and I just was ready to give it up and Jesus came in and saved me. Yeah. I mean, something like that, a person is, it's just so attractive to the other person. It's like, yeah. I want that. Well, I, and I think with COVID, this is a big thing. We keep on saying this, but I know, yeah, I, I know, hate a lot it, has but changed. it's true. It's isolated us all so much yeah, because we has. all had to be inside. We've had to be away from people. What does Satan want? He wants us away from people. He wants us not to be out there talking, being in fellowship, helping each other. He wants us separate, and that's what he's done. Okay, number four. Satan wants to cause us to live in shame. Usually this means you feel like God can never forgive you right. for what you've done. Right. You're a sinner and he's just it, you've done so many bad things mm -hmm. that God's never going to forgive you. That's what Satan wants you to think. You know, and I just had a thought when you were saying that too, is that a lot of us with what's going on, I mean, I believe that in our hearts we know this isn't right. And we're fighting these emotions and fears. And I believe that a lot of us then sometimes 
feel shame yeah. because we know we shouldn't feel like this, right. but we do. So Satan is not only attacking your fears and your doubts, he's also bringing you down inside by saying, you're not doing God's will. You right. should be doing more. I, I, I shouldn't be living in fear, but I'm in fear right now. You can always go to Jesus. Yeah and confess your sins Alice. and it is done. It's over. He doesn't hold a grudge. It's as far, your sin is as far as from the east is from the west. Number five, Satan wants to get you wrapped up into idol worship. Now, I know when I say idol, you guys are going, man, I don't have like an idol. I don't have a Buddha. I don't have a statue. I don't worship idols, but guys, there are so many idols in our lives. I mean, an idol is described as anything as you spend your time, energy, and money on. So if you're on your phone all day, looking at Facebook or whatever, it's an idol. Clothes. Okay. Co COVID yeah. can become an idol. Well, yeah. Where all you do is you, you, you watch Focus COVID, you watch the news, you don't pray, you don't read your Bible, you're, you're neglecting God. Today, is that we're in such a narcissistic society where it's all about me. I mean, even we can become our yeah. own idols, right? Oh, yeah. We become our own gods. Yeah. And we're in a very materialistic, materialistic yeah. uh, society where you have to have the new car, the new phone, I mean, you know, the new TV, and you'll work yourself to death, you'll get two jobs, you'll get into debt. Well, that item now is your idol. So you guys have to be really careful and keep your lives in check of these little temptations that Satan puts out in front of you that it's you'll fall into. Time. Yeah, it's taking your time away from God. Yep. So number six, the last one. Satan wants you more than ever to be deceived. There's a verse in the Bible that says that people will start to turn away from the truth. And that is 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 4. So basically the verse says, people will turn away from the truth. I mean, they'll turn away from the truth of, you know, you need, I want a relationship with God. Okay, well, a relationship God is really simple. It means reading your Bible and praying. Well, they'll start to watch these other videos and we want to call them either a prosperity gospel. They don't talk about sin. They don't talk about how do you need to ask for forgiveness. So they're basically being deceived out of a relationship with Jesus. And it's, you know, you've seen these videos where they're saying, you know, God wants to bless you. He wants to love you. He wants to give you money. You know, he wants to give you financial miracle, which all of that is true. But if you guys are only listening to these type of videos, you are being deceived. Satan is robbing you from the truth. You guys have to have a well-rounded mix. It's yeah. okay to be encouraged and, and, and be inspired by those videos, but never shy away from the truth that, you know, God is God and, and we're human yeah. and, and we're sinners and we need God and we yeah. need to reach out to God. We need to make an effort I mean, well, I think the biggest problem too with that, with these deceivers mm -hmm. through Satan, he's drawing you away from a relationship, meaning if those blessings don't happen to you, are you going to blame God? Yeah, you probably will. Are you going to say, oh, well, I did it wrong, or did God doesn't said. love me, or I didn't give enough money, or whatever. So then all of a sudden you're blaming God, and then your relationship is even more blocked. Mm-hmm because he's not coming through for you. All right, so that's a wrap, you guys. We hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you know somebody that maybe you feel like is going the wrong way and seeking a little bit too much on the <laughs> seat in the side yep. and they need a little inspiration or help, share this video with them. Hopefully it will help them too. We hope you guys have a great day and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye guys.